Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rich Bradley, President of the Board of Public Service. This is the regular meeting of the Board of Public Service for Tuesday, August 22nd, 2023. This is a public meeting and there are no hearings or no lettings today. So I would ask that only members of this board be allowed to speak unless recognized by myself or the secretary. At this time, I'll ask the secretary to please call the roll. Director Coyle. Director Davis is excused. Director Hayes. Aye. Director Pearson. Aye. Director Scobie. Present. Director Williams is excused. President Bradley. Present, we have a quorum. I will call this meeting in order. From the president, recommendation that approval be given as follows. Modification to reimbursable agreement, AJW-FN-CSA-20-CE-005058 by and between the Federal Aviation Administration and the City of St. Louis support of the taxiway reconstruction project at St. Louis Lambert International Airport. This agreement included funding for engineering support, construction and travel that was adjusted from the original cost estimation of $320,141.98 to $616,073.86. Right away deed by and between LifeNet Incorporated and the Land Clearance Redevelopment Authority, whereby LifeNet will transfer its existing parking lot for right of way to allow extension of 22nd Street south to Scott Avenue. License and right of entry agreement by and among LifeNet Incorporated, LCRA, and the city, allowing the city to enter onto LifeNet property to construct a new parking lot. Supplemental agreement by and among LifeNet Incorporated, formerly known as Arch Air Medical Services Incorporated, LCRA, and the city given LifeNet inspection and other rights as LCRA and BPS construct a new parking lot for LifeNet Incorporation. Transmitted herewith for award is the proposed contract with Byrne and Jones Construction for public works advertised under letting number 8750 shop drive repairs and resurfacing at St. Louis Lambert International Airport. The proposed contractor has furnished a performance bond as required by the city charter. Transmitted herewith for award is the proposed contract with Raven LLC for public works advertised under letting number 8759, Turner Park Conference Station renovation. The proposed contractor has furnished a performance bond as required by the city charter. Equipment Services Division, John Deere Agriculture Equipment Services and Repair Service Contract with Sendon Stricker, No Partners. This contract provides service and repair on John Deere Agriculture Equipment only through August 1st, 2028. The maximum not to exceed the amount of $174,000. From the Office of Special Events, request that the following be approved subject to certain conditions. There are 16 special events to be declared as festival zones. Number one, CPR Community Summer Fest will take place at the intersection of Minerva Ridge between Kings Highway and Alley on August 21st, 2023 at 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Set up and tear down will start at 8 a.m. and ends at 6 p.m. Two, Gateway Cup Lafayette will take place in Lafayette Park and surrounding streets on September 1st, 2023 at 3 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. Set up and tear down will start at 1 p.m. and ends by 12 a.m. September 2nd. Number three, Gateway Cup Francis Park will take place throughout Francis Park on September 2nd, 2023 at 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Set up and tear down will start at 6 a.m. and ends by 9 p.m. Number four, Gateway Cup The Hill will take place throughout the Hill neighborhood, September 3rd, 2023, at 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Set up and tear down will start at 6 a.m. and end by 11 p.m. Number five, Gateway Cup Benton Park will take place in Benton Park and surrounding streets on September 4th, 2023, at 8.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. Set up and tear down will start at 6 a.m. and end by 9 p.m. Number six, Big Muddy Blues Festival will take place on Morgan Street 
between 1st and 2nd Streets on September 3rd, 2023 at 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. Set up and tear down will start at 11 a.m. and end by 10 p.m. Seven, Car Square will take place on Car Street between 15th and 16th Street on September 3rd, 2023 at 2 p.m. to 9 p.m. Set up and tear down will start September 1st at 8 a.m. and end September 5th at 6 p.m. Number eight, Taste of Black STL will take place in Kaufman and Poker Parks and on Chestnut between 13th and Tucker Street on September 8th through 10th, 2023 at 12 p.m. and 9 p.m. Set up and tear down will start September 8th at 5 a.m. and end September 10th at 10 p.m. Number nine, New Sunny Mount Community Day will take place on Street between Rosalie and West Florissant on September 9th, 2023 at 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Number 10, Great Forest Park Balloon Race and Glow will take place at Central Field and World's Fair Pavilion on September 15, 2023 at 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. September 16th and 17th at 12 p.m. to 7 p.m. Set up and tear down will start September 5th at 9 a.m. and end September 22nd at 6 p.m. Number 11, BJC Healthcare Day at the ballpark will take place in Kaufman Park on September 16, 2023 at 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Set up and tear down will start September 15th at 8 a.m. and end September 16th at 11 p.m. 12, showcase for bikes and cars will take place on St. Ferdinand and Cottage between Vandevener and Prairie and Prairie between Cottage and North Market on September 16, 2023 at 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Set up and tear down will start at 12.01 a.m. and ends at 11.59 p.m. 13, story time in the Commons will take place on Olive Street between Grand and Spring Avenue on September 30th, 2023 at 6 a.m. to 1 p.m. 14, Macklin Days will take place on Macklin Avenue between Devonshire and Nottingham Avenue on September 30th, 2023 at 12 p.m. to 10 p.m. Set up and tear down will start at 8 a.m. and ends at 11 p.m. 15, St. Louis Veg Fest will take place in Forest Park on October 1st, 2023 at 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Set up and tear down will start at 6 a.m. and ends by 8. 16, Arch Park will take place on Washington Avenue between 1st and 2nd Street on October 1st, 2023 at 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. From the Director of Public Utilities, recommendation that the board declares as emergency action the following. Repair the 2750 HP Chain of Rocks Distributive Pump Motor Number 10. This extra work is needed and replaces the request approved by the board on April 4, 2023, under document number 303902, to repair a failed field coil connection in the motor. The estimated cost of this work is $60,000. Landscaping repairs where a 12 inch bypass was installed along Oakland Avenue and Oakview Place. The estimated cost of the repairs is $13,000. From the Director of Streets, recommendation that the following be approved subject to certain conditions. Application number 131743, request from Main Lander LLC doing business as the Main Lander to encroach with three tables and six chairs for a sidewalk cafe utilizing 63 square feet with liquor at 8 South Euclid Avenue. Application number 131760, request from Dogtown Oakland Pub, LLC doing business as the Pet Connolly Tavern to encroach with tables and chairs for a sidewalk cafe, utilizing nine square feet with liquor at 6400 Oakland Avenue. Application number 131762, request from Pagan Wine Bar and Books, LLC to encroach with one table and two chairs for sidewalk cafe utilizing six square feet with liquor at 239 North Euclid Avenue. Application number 131817, request from Paint Lewis to paint the flood wall from 1200 South Wharf Street to 2000 Wharf Street, Shuttle and Victor on September 1st through 3rd, 2023 
applicant is to provide toilets and trash cans. From the Director of Public Utilities and Streets, joint recommendation that the following be approved subject to certain conditions. Application number 131777, request from Union Electric doing business at Scammer, Missouri to expand poles down the alley and down North Euclid Avenue at 4354 North Euclid Avenue. Request from Union Electric doing business at Scammer, Missouri to move overhead electric to underground existing overhead line, lines or in the alley and install underground in the existing easement at 2100 East Grand Avenue. Request from Jeffrey Wizzerling for an alley dedication approved under VPS permit 128653 at 1120 Missouri Avenue. Joint recommendation that two applications for Verizon be approved subject to certain conditions. Application number 00099 for 11 North 10th Street. Application number 00110 for 6025 Chippewa. We have joint recommendation that three applications from AT&T be approved subject to certain conditions. Application number 00127 for 6310 Knox Industrial Drive. Application number 00128 for 3801 South Kings Highway Boulevard. Application number 00130 for 6302 North Broadway. From the Director of Public Safety, there are two conditional use permits. Good afternoon, Mr. President, and members of the board. My name is Steve Narr, zoning plan examiner for the city of St. Louis, representing the building commissioner. Per board order number 766, transmitted here with our recommendations for the following conditional use agenda applications. Approval is recommended for two applications. Uh, number 13216 Merrimack Street and number 22929 South Jefferson Avenue. Thank you, Steve. Are there any questions or comments on today's conditional unit uses from any of our board members? Greg Hayes, motion to approve the conditional uses as submitted. Second, Pearson. Thank you, directors. Can you call the roll, please? Director Coyle. Director Hayes. Aye. Director Pearson. Aye. Director Scobie. Aye. President Bradley. Hi, today's conditional uses are approved. Michelle, I know I was um, said I wouldn't be here today, but I was able to make the meeting. So I just wanted to clock in as present. Thank you, Dr. Mahdi. Great. So you and you also voted on that last motion, correct? Hey, Director Davis. I did not. Is there a way to include me? Yes. I vote in the affirmative. Thank, Thank you. you. Today's conditional uses are approved as amended with Dr. Mahdi's vote. I'd like to turn your attention to our minutes from last Tuesday's meeting, August 15th, 2023. Are there any questions on those meeting minutes as presented? Seeing none, I'll ask for a motion to approve, please. So move, Davis. Second, Scobie. Thank you, directors. Can you call the roll, please? Director Coyle. Director Davis. Aye. Director Hayes. Aye. Director Pearson. Aye. Director Scobie. Aye. President Bradley. Aye. The meeting minutes are approved. Today's agenda. Are there any questions or comments on our today's BPS meeting agenda? Seeing none, I'll ask for a motion to approve, please. Second, Dave. Thank you, directors. Can you call the roll, please? Director Coyle. Director Davis. Aye. Director Hayes. Aye. Director Pearson. Aye. Director Scobie. Aye. President Bradley. Aye. Today's meeting agenda is approved. Before we adjourn, are there any questions or any comments from any of our board directors? Two questions. Uh, my favorite day of the year, the balloon race, the balloon race is quickly approaching. And I was wondering, A, if the city had the balloon, uh, and B, if Rich Bradley, Mr. President, if he would be flying it for us. If I would be flying the balloon for us. Well, yeah, let's see. That might be a balloon, very that could be a dangerous proposition. I think I'll defer to Director Hayes as uh, one of his uh, job qualifications is to have fun. And I think 
the subtitle is the pilot a hot air balloon so director are you going to be flying the city's balloon we will have a city balloon with a with a pilot if bill comes from kansas city like he always does he's got over 2000 <laughs> flights maybe 2500 we would offer it to rich but we re adam we reserve that for friends family and colleagues so that kind of knocks rich out wow Oh, wow. wait, wait, did I did I actually say that? I was I'm so sorry. I was thinking it, but I didn't. Bradley, you're, anybody on this call is always welcome. And beyond the fact that I'm I'm not qualified to do it, that's the same. So you asked for a question, you got your answer. Is that satisfactory, Director Pearson? That works. I can uh I'll try to fly it out next year. Great. And uh, I don't want any calls when people pass out from it from the heat waves. Okay. Director Davis will be off duty at that time. Thank you. It has been awfully hot outside, so please stay cool. Any further comments before we adjourn our meeting today? Um, no. Dr. Mahdi, do you have time for a quick call after the meeting? Or okay, Absolutely. Yeah. I'll call you real quick. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Uh, no more comments. I'll ask for a motion to adjourn, please. So moved, Hayes. Second, Second, Davis. Thank you. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Meeting adjourned. Thank you all. Have a good afternoon. Thank, Thank you. you.